Oh my God, I'm dying. So the grim of Ruby make no sense. So I'll be honest, guys, I've been rewatching Ruby just because, you know, I'm trying to look for new content ideas or whatever. And I started to notice something about the Grimm that, you know, and it's just something I would like to talk about. Because the Grimm, well, the Grimm are the Grimm. So the Grimm are the universal antagonists of Ruby, if you don't know, and are often likened to demons or soulless monstrosities that directly contrast the bright personalities of our beloved antagonists. Protagonists, sorry. But they are broken. Severely broken, even. Uh, during the events of Volume 1, the Grimm were uh, hardly much of a threat to the main cast, only in large numbers or when 1v1ing the token weak guy or an emotionally conflicted teenage girl. However, these simplistic forms, were, they were kind of taken for granted, you know? We're given the backstory of the Grimm over several volumes. Each time, it changes just a little bit, going from these ominous, soulless creatures to uh, theorized, corrupt animal spirits, to God-created tools of darkness, to beings in direct contrast to their very fundamental makeup. Now let me explain why this Grimm, the Apathy, is probably the stupidest Grimm ever introduced and fundamentally just proves how broken Ruby has become. So the Apathy is introduced in Volume 6, Episode 6, Alone in the Woods. This was a very clear point where Kruby was trying to give the audience a scare, shoehorning in a horror feature in an animated series that seriously, it did not need one, and for what it was, it was not very well done. If this sequence actually scared you, then you probably haven't ever watched movies like Rose Red or Grave Encounters, or I don't know, even an episode of Goosebumps. Goosebumps was more scary than this. It just goes to show you how bad it was when Patrick Rodriguez, the guy who was starting to design the apathy, he basically said that he kept scaring and depressing himself while drawing this. Have you ever met an artist or just someone that draws that is ever scared or depressed by what they draw? This makes no sense to me. I'm sorry. I'm sure he was told just, hey, design like a super scary Grimm. And he's like, bet, dude, I'll just make like a Slender Man. I mean, not to, not to harp on the guy, but come on. This was not scary. That being said, you know, introducing new elements to a story isn't really a bad thing, but it becomes a bad thing when the apathy has an ability. Now, Grimm have shown abilities before, but I never really took too much notice to it. So in the volume, we discover that the apathy have an emotion slash mental affliction bubble, whereas whenever humans are within a certain distance of them, they slowly begin to be overwhelmed by apathy. This is defined by characteristics of essentially not caring, in case you didn't know what it means. It's a severe case, though, where the afflicted will not want to move or eat or do anything resulting in a slow, morbid death. Cool. Scary. Got it. Whatever. But the apathy operate with a pack mentality, a commonplace in the grim community. However, that's where the lethality of the creature is. In large numbers, they are significantly more effective. So let's, let me explain this a little bit. So say you're having a bad day and you're feeling a bit down. Well, in a world that has advanced technology and aura study, they have literally no other option other than hanging around in apathy for a bit to stop caring. Just the premise of this story is basis enough to call total bullshit. Some guy actually tried to use the apathy as an antidepressant and surprise, just like real antidepressants, they make you much worse than you actually are. All right, that's a little too close to home with that one. I'm going to dial it back. But the apathy make no sense, and more than that, they're broken. Now, Miles Luna claims that the idea for the Grimm and the story have existed since before Volume 1, but honestly... I'm going to go ahead and call bullshit on that one because I don't think so. Grimm were soulless creatures with a variety of, you know, bodies that varied in shape. And the shape really seemed to have no significance whatsoever other than dictating which pack mentality they would be a part of. And we learn that Grimm are attracted to negative emotions. They basically feed off of them. If you're pissed off, a Grimm is going to come towards you. Now, if we're going by canon, this is the Dark God's creation made in direct conflict with the Light God's life. However, together, they made humans, which were comprised of both dark and light together and capable of magic. Now, if the Grimm existed before humans, why would the Grimm be capable of altering human state of minds? Furthermore, Grimm are destruction incarnate. Why would they have strange abilities like this? They're attracted to human emotions, but now they can manipulate it and influence them? I don't think you understand just how meta the apathy actually is. 
the apathy effectively break the grim mechanic. One that with the introduction of the Leviathan and friends, we can see that Kruby really no longer cares about maintaining. Grim can throw fireballs, do lightning blasts, and now, now they can alter and affect human minds like Emerald or some shit? Doesn't that just seem a little fishy to me, honestly? Because the, the, the idea of this creature or thing is okay, it's fine, it's normal. But when Ruby has pre-established rules and laws about the Grim, why would we make a new introduction of this creature that directly conflicts with that? Remember in like volume, what was it, volume two, where the Goliath Grim, the giant elephant was like, these guys are super wise and smart, they've been alive for hundreds of years, they know to stay away from humans. Now we're just like, Grim really are not that smart and they just kinda wanna throw fireballs at people and you know, get trapped inside cellars because they're a bunch of weirdos and it's just so quirky, it doesn't make sense, you know, because I really like that about the original Grim when they were described as being, you know, intelligent. They, they, they knew to stay away from humans, but they were still attracted to human negative emotion. They just knew that if they went there, they were gonna die. They actually showed some sense of, you know, like, sentience. They understood that they would die if they attacked humans. So they didn't. And then you just introduce this whole new plethora of creatures that are like, hey, we can literally make people want to just not do anything, lay down and die, just by being around them. It doesn't make sense. Now, that could just be me griping at it, but I was just re-watching the episode today, and I was just like, that is stupid. So, guys, I mean, that's that's it for this video. Do you agree with me on this one, honestly? Because I, I, I just can't do it with these new Grim. They're just weird. Uh, I was going to make a video on the Grim in, like, depth, and then I'm just like, blech, this is dumb. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Oh, are you, uh, you still here? Hey, be between you and me, if you aren't subscribed to me already, you should be. And the reason isn't for fame or anything like that, okay? You know, all I want, all I want is to be able to make a poll, okay? So I tell you what, 1K subs, face reveal. No? Okay, okay. A thousand V-Bucks giveaway. Huh? You can play Fortnite. No? Okay. How about I change my name to a thousand subs with mediocre Ruby videos? No? Okay, okay. The number of subscribers I have equals how much money you'll find in a shoe tomorrow. No? No? Okay. You drive a hard bargain. All right, all right. Subscribe if you think the content is good, and we'll be friends. Type one below if you watch this part. I'm just curious and appreciate it for you watching all the way through. That is great. Also, if you have a suggestion for a video you want me to do, please let me know. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing my own stuff until I have the ability to make a poll, and then I can just put up a poll and give you four options of a video I can make, and then I can make that video, okay? You know? Hey, regulars, I love you guys.